We're at Lutheran High School where tonight the Crusaders take on crosstown rival Sheboygan Christian. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach Chris Wright. Chris, uh, Christian has really had the series in their back pocket for the last couple of years, but uh, that's about to change tonight. Yeah, 12 months ago we're sitting here, Sheboygan Christian's ranked number two in Division Four. 12 months later, Sheboygan Lutheran ranked number three in Division Five. So what a change in, in the last 12 months, and you know what, that sometimes happens. You know, they always say that athletes and stuff go in cycles. Well, it's kind of cycled around, and looks like the team in green's got a little bit more of an advantage than the team in blue. Uh, the reason we're here is partly to cover this game, but we also want to get a good look at Sam Decker. He's the real deal. Yeah, he is. Uh, very fortunate to get a college scholarship, a Division One scholarship to Wisconsin at the beginning of this year. And, and I know Coach Decker doesn't like to talk much about his son and stuff, and it takes the team, but you know, Sam is very special and he's worked extremely hard. Here's a kid that basically during the summer, he goes and works out, he runs hills, he lifts weights, he shoots two or three times a day, and he does this every day, even during the school year. And you know, a lot of kids don't you know, you know, see that all the time or work that hard, but Sam works very hard and he's earned everything he's gotten. Might call him a basketball junkie. Yeah, he is, and he's the second leading scorer in the state right now, averaging 30 points a game. He's got three of the top scoring uh, outputs in the state this year, and you know, not only that, I know there's some games this year where he's kind of laid off and let his teammates be included as well. Now on the other side, Brett Flipsy has his son playing for him also, and he's the leading scorer, Zach Flipsy, who's averaging 10 a game. Yeah, Zach Flips is there, and Sheboygan Christian's a lot different. You got a kid like Sam who's averaging 30 points a game. If you look over at Sheboygan Christian, they got four guys at around eight, nine, ten points a game. So they're getting a lot of contributions from a lot of guys. And, you know, for them to win tonight and pull this upset in this gym, they're going to have all those guys to contribute. Now, one thing you got to understand about uh, Brett is that's kind of how he runs his team. That's not special to this year because when the teams are great, they had four and five scores. Trouble is, they were averaging a little more. Yeah, not only that, too. I mean, they're always a very good defensive team, too. Which, so to give them a chance tonight, I mean, they're going to have to continue that tradition of playing good defense. Uh, they played some of the echelon, upper echelon teams so far this year. Haven't panned out so well. But, you know, one thing that, you know, both Coach Flipsy and Coach Decker has emphasized defense. Coach Flipsy again tonight is going to have to have an outstanding defense performance. If you're close, Coach Flipsy, how do you handle Sam Decker? Uh, trip him? No, I don't know. Uh, I don't think you can just stop Sam Decker. I think. You uh, Chris, we can't edit that out, you know. <laughs> no, I think the best thing to do is to, uh, you know, just play good, solid defense. You know, and you know Sam's going to miss some. So what you got to do is you got to rebound, and you got to get no allow no second shots. You got to keep him out of the paint. Another good thing Sam does is he gets to the basket a lot and he draws a lot of fouls. So I try to keep him out on the perimeter. Hopefully he'll miss and do something like that. He's such a good driver, too. But I try to keep him out on the perimeter, make him shoot, and you make sure that it's one and out. Don't let the other guys you know, beat you. It's, it's basically do whatever you can. I would put my best athlete, fastest kid, and just be all over Sam Decker. I don't care if he's six feet, six foot one, six two. I'd follow him around like a rabbit. That's probably what I'd do. Or you know, even do uh, you know, maybe something like a triangle and two or something, both guys on Sam. But whatever you do is one shot and out. How about a long piece of rope, tie him up and put him in the closet? I think that would help too, or, you know, but Sam's going to be special, he's going to get his own, but Sheboy and Christian know that they got to, you know, do the little things and other things besides let's just Sam Decker beat him. Well, I got a little tease for our audience, and that is at halftime, we've got a special guest, uh, Stu Offensberger's in the house, and he's going to come over, we're going to do a little halftime interview. With that, we're going to step out, when we come back, we'll have uh, the tip-off for tonight's ball game and the starting lineups. United Church of Christ, no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here. Mommy, is there still be penguins around when I grow up? I sure hope so. Do more than hope. 
Since the 1970s, global warming has caused ice in the Antarctic to melt and populations of Adélie penguins have been rapidly declining ever since. There's still time to make a difference before the Adélie penguin vanishes along with its habitat. Go to defenders.org slash global warming to learn more. Why is it you two have so much trouble communicating? I don't like the way he talks to me. All I said was that you had a big osteo fight. <laughs> well, what about the secrets you kept from me? Oh, so I didn't tell you about my drug allergies. Big that deal. That could have been nasty. How's your shoulder coming, anyway? Fine. I worked up to three pound dumbbells yesterday. Oh. Just three weeks after surgery. That's pretty good. Communication is the best medicine. A message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Global warming. Some say irreversible consequences are 30 years away. 30 years? That won't affect me. get in on a government auction you know like for a car well, what about renewing my driver's license don't bring your government questions to just anyone go to firstgov.gov the official source of federal state and local government information and don't everybody chime in at once I joined the National Guard and never thought I'd be saving lives. It's more than money for college. It's built my character and given me a sense of accomplishment. Now I'm on a career path and I'm the leader of my team. I put on the uniform and I have a whole new outlook on life. Country, community, family. That's what matters most to me. If that matters to you, go to 1-800-GO-GUARD.COM. going to go through the uh, national anthem and then do a presentation for Todd Decker getting his 200th win.
spots out of there. We ask that you watch over and guide them as they share and show your love with those in El Salvador. In your name we pray, Amen. I'm going to ask that you would remain standing here again and join in the singing of our national anthem. Our national anthem this evening being played by the Lutheran High School Cup Band under the direction of Mr. Matt Field. Starting lineups for tonight's game, Boygan Christian. They'll be starting 5'10 senior Alex Tislow. Also a senior at six feet is Adam Hunick, number 15. Coach's son, Zach Flipsy, also a senior, goes 5'10. He's averaging 10 a game. Brandon Wissey, number 23, is a senior. He goes 6-1. And rounding out the starting five is the fifth senior, number 33, Dustin Brower. He goes 6-8. For uh, the Crusaders, they're starting number one, a junior at 6-7, Sam Decker. They're congratulating Brett Flipsy. He just got his 200th victory also. He's sitting at 201. If Todd wins his game tonight, he'll also be at 201 for their careers. Ah, oh, they're getting to the starting lineup. Number one, Sam Decker is a junior. He goes 6'7". Chris mentioned in the opening he's averaging 30 points a game. A senior, 5'11", number three, Zach Nicholson. Dane Poleth, number five, is a senior. He goes 6'2". Number 21, Jacob Wheeler is a 6'1", senior. And rounding out the starting five is a 6'1 senior, number 23, Zach Jensema. Christian comes into tonight's action three and four, two and three in the league. Lutheran is eight and one overall, five and zero oh in the league. Richard Bartson is on the top camera. Eric Wiesman is on the floor camera. Scott Mailoff is in the truck spinning the dials. Chris Wright doing the color tonight. He's not so colorful yet. He'll get there. <laughs> well, I'm doing something tonight, Marty, I've never done. I always keep track of stats, and I always give a first half and a second half line for each kid. Sam's got four lines. I've never done that before, but... I know he's going to get his shots. He shoots over 50% uh, of the shots, basically, 121 of the 246 this year, so he's going to be very active. And Decker controls the uh, tip. He's an excellent passer. First shot is no good. Rebound putback is around and down for Poth. Well, that's just what we're talking about, Marty. There was a shot from the outside. 
Nobody rebounded for Christian and then an easy opportunity for uh, Polk to put that baby in there. Nice back cut, but a travel before getting to the basket was uh, Adam Hunick. Nice play though, they cleared out the side for him, but uh, walked before he got the shot off. Christian gonna apply some pressure. Ball tipped out of bounds, Zach Nicholson trying to run the break. Kick out to the corner for the three point attempt is no good. Decker controls. Good passing by the Crusaders. Decker's rebound putback is good. Four to nothing, Lutheran. Three offensive rebounds already for Sheboygan Lutheran in less than a minute. And that's something you talked about is that uh, Christian is gonna have to control the boards. Well, it's gonna have to be one and out and that's just not getting it done. And it's not Sam Decker either, it's other con con contributors there. Good defense, good help defense that time by Jensima. Decker kicks it out, drive to the basket, shot is no good by Wheeler. Poth driving to the hoop, puts it up and in his second basket. Lutheran on a 6-0 run to start the ball game. Tislaw handling the ball mostly in that, uh, bringing it up, another back cut by Hunick, and uh, he saves it but then throws it out of bounds. Three turnovers already for Christian. Well, and that's uh, part of that ball handling deal that uh, they need to do a better job at. The idea was to set a back screen for Decker, but uh, Christian was heads up to that, and uh, Poth threw the ball out of bounds. A little confusion uh, by Luther trying to get the zone, zone press set up. And we're looking at a dunk. <laughs> Decker with a slammer. By the way, if uh, you want to see Sam's dunks, you can go to YouTube. They're all posted there. Decker not able to get the uh, control of the ball to tip it in. Three point attempt is no good. Christian finally gets a shot at the hoop. Both inside feed, back outside to Decker. Rainbow shot is off, no good. Tislow, Kunick with the rebound, pardon me. I'll tell you what, Sam Decker has really improved his game and you know, you don't necessarily get division one scholarships. Jensema limping off the floor, Nick Redeker is uh, coming in for him. There you saw the injury there. Good replay, Scott. Yeah, you don't see the, uh, excuse me, get Division One scholarships by your, not just your high school work, it's your work in the summer, and Sam's worked very hard in the summer, been on some AAU teams, and plus getting the opportunity. Well, they're putting the ball in a tight spot, throwing it right to the corner, and then another almost turnover. That shot is up and in by uh, Brower. Brower averaging eight points a game. Christian in a zone. Wheeler trying to force it in, but uh, couldn't get it there. Decker's uh, fouled on the way to the basket. No shot. Adam Hunick commits the first foul of the ball game. Good inside feed, but Decker couldn't hang on to it. Uh, pass was a little bit low. Flipsy number 22 handling the ball. This trip down. Se second three-point attempt. This one is also no good. Wheeler comes away with the rebound for the Crusaders. A good inside feed. The shot is up and in by Nicholson. 
Polf with a good feed. Pislow commits his first personal. Well, Oosberg tied with uh, Sheboygan Christian at the, uh, excuse me, Lutheran at the top. They're also 5-0. and They have a game in about a week against Lutheran. And uh, in third place with Ozaki, and Lutheran hasn't played them yet either. Pislow with a three-point attempt. Uh, misses everything, goes out of bounds. Carl Nimmer coming in for uh, Lutheran and uh, Kyle Calvert for uh, Christian. Calvert, Calvert there, averaging 12 a game. Yeah, he's your leading scorer. And he didn't start. Redeker being guarded closely on top. Decker with a three point attempt, nails it. It's 13 to two. All Lutheran. Lutheran playing a man-to-man -man defense and has had a lot of success with it here so far tonight, Chris. And miscommunication that time. Ball sells right out of bounds. They have a lot more bas lot more turnovers than baskets. Uh, attempts, five to two, four. Wow. Becker with the head up, looking underneath. Another Idle thing that you're going to see a lot of teams playing is zones. You need people like Poth to make them. Poth with a three-pointer. There's a good shot of Coach Flipsy. He's been at the top of the mountain for three strong years. Thought it was four. Sixteen to two, Lutheran on top. A lot of people here to see Sam play, and uh, there's a good crowd behind me. Yep. Both put good pressure on uh, Flipsy, but he nailed it. It's a three-pointer. Sixteen to five, rolling under two thirty remaining in the first quarter. Good ball movement. Decker on a quick release. Redeker is fouled on the putback attempt. He'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Flipsy commits his first foul. It's a third team foul. Checking in for uh, the Crusaders is Peter Becker, number 22. Redeker coming off the bench, making contributions with a couple of free throws and uh, getting some rebounds. Luther trying to get something set up offensively. What a nice flipsy. Got it, and he's fouled by Poth. Yeah, what Dane did that, that time was just slid underneath there. He should have just let that one go with the nice lead. Poth commits the first uh, foul for Lutheran. Flipsy trying to finish off the three point play and does. Seems like just not too long ago, Taylor Poth was playing here. Really? A little quarterback for the football team, too. Yep. I believe he was a catcher yep. for the baseball team. Yeah, he's the... Uh, Dad Scott was a good catcher. Yeah. Coaches the uh, freshman legion team. So he's contributing to the uh, community. Taylor, that is. Minute 35 remaining in the first quarter. Lutheran up 18-8. to eight. And uh, being pretty content here to run some clock. Decker kicks it out. Shot is no good by Poth, and uh, Christian has the rebound, and they manage to keep control. Good job by Brower to not lose the ball when he fell down. Oh, 
almost a drag there. Brower has it on top, being guarded by Redeker. Shot is no good, rebound by Decker. And we're gonna get a foul on Dane Poth. He was going a little out of control. It's gonna be his second foul. Wholesale changes for Lutheran. Jacob Cans in the ball game. Nicholson checks back in. Jacob Cans, 32, he's your uh, current uh, quarterback. He's a left-handed pitcher too. He had a good game over at Plymouth, knocked Plymouth out of the uh, summer tournament. Pitched, a, I believe it was a two-hit shutout. This all looking, penetrating pitch. Outside three-pointer by Calvert is good. 20 seconds. 18 to 11. Three-pointer is good by Nicholson. One, two, three for Nicholson. 21 to 11, under 10 seconds. Good defense played by Cans, and that's the end of the quarter. With Luther on top, 21 to 11. 21. Moving is so much of who we are. It's easy to take it for granted. Multiple sclerosis stops people from moving. We exist to make sure it doesn't. Join the movement, the National Multiple Sclerosis Society at nationalmssociety.org. We go to any extreme to protect our children here. And here. And here. Well, there's a great way to protect our kids here against diseases like cancer, heart disease, and obesity. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, vegetarian foods. Now you can protect your kids from the inside out. To learn more, call 866-906-WELL. Is it into uh, Tislow? 21 to 11 as we start second quarter action. It's been all Lutheran. They started the game with an eight point run. It was actually a 16 to two run. A little more than midway through that first quarter. Another turnover by uh, Christian. Turnover number six, Marty there. Four for nine from the floor. Eight for 16 for Lutheran. So that's all those offensive rebounds. Getting good contributions from other people besides Decker too as uh, Polth is contributing. Good pitch out by uh, Decker. Three point attempt is good by Nicholson, his second three. As is Zach Nicholson contributing. He's three for three from the floor with a couple of threes. One thing you're seeing out here with uh, Sam Decker is he's not forcing it. You know, he's getting it to his teammates and they're responding. Yeah, very interesting, Marty, as we looked at the scores coming in. Eight scores of the nine scores for Luthen are seniors, and then we have, of course, the Decker. Yeah. Well, what did I call it out? Nine seniors on the team? And uh, five juniors. Both coming back in, he has uh, two fouls. Danny Semp, I see over across the way, Marty. Yep, I saw him over there before. I don't know if he's watching Decker or the officials. <laughs> 
And a violation on uh, Lutheran. I didn't see what, what happened. Three seconds Three seconds in the lane. Okay. Redeker was standing in the lane a little bit too long. Calvert perched out in the corner, Decker on him. And a good steal by Wheeler, taking it hard to the hoop, lays it up and in. 26 to 11. And Wheeler commits the foul. A little too aggressive that time. And Poth with the steal. Decker got it. And he's fouled. Flipsy with the foul. That's his second. Becker, 80% field goal percentage for two pointers and 80% from the free throw line, basically. It's tough to stop that, plus he's, what, 50% from three point range. Well, Luther started the game with an eight point run, and uh, they've started the second quarter with another eight point run. It's now 29 to 11. Just to think that Sam will be back here next year, that's. Whew. Wow. They get 28 to 11. Bigger, faster, stronger. Yeah, it's hard to imagine them. Bigger and faster and stronger. Saw so Johnny Decker in the house too. And Hannah too, I might as well. Gotta <laughs> mention her. I saw her at the fitness center tonight. What were you doing there? <laughs> seeing if she was there. <laughs> Were you actually working? Uh, yeah. Out? <laughs> Shot by Nimmer is no good. 28 to 13. Pullback jumper by Calvert is no good. Decker got a hand up in his face. And a nice steal by Flipsy. He read that one really well and lays it up and in. Timeout by Christian. We see Todd Decker not very happy with the way his uh, team has played the last uh, minute or so. Got to take care of the basketball. Got to take care of the basketball. Sheboygan Lutheran started off the season going up to Green Bay and they took on Green Bay New Lutheran who is a preseason ranked number three and they clobbered them by 16 and they've been on a run ever since. They did lose a tough game last week to Hope School. Hope School is uh, eight and one and they're a division three team and their only loss was to Germantown who's got a very nice team. So uh, Hope School is no slouch. Joe Randa. Three pointer is good by Nicholson. Wow. He's got three threes and a deuce. Oop, threw it out of bounds. Tried to throw it off a Crusader, but uh, Brandon Wissey missed. And he threw it off the bench of Lutheran. That doesn't count because the chair's no. already out of bounds. You know, people ask, you know, who's gonna help uh, Lutheran, and already we've seen Nicholson and Poth being very, uh, a lot of help on offense. Inside feed to That's uh, a bad Nimmer, call. but uh, he gets called for the charge. And if you talk to the Lutheran fans behind us, they'll say that the Christian player did a flip-flop. That was a bad call. That's something you get in high school, but sometimes. At the 31. varsity level, you normally don't see that very often. 31 to 15. Flipsy with a hard pass out of bounds. I have 10 turnovers now for Christian. Wow. Flipsy. 
Becker being double teamed. A good ball movement by the Crusaders. Nimmer. Why not? Another three. Nicholson, pardon me. Woo! 34 to 15. And a foul on Poth is going to be his third. Nicholson came in averaging four points a game. Four of eight from three point. Today he's four of four. Five of five from the floor. And uh, Lutheran pulling off the press. He's almost got as many points, Nicholson, as uh, Christian. Flipsy's shot is blocked. Block is on Hosenstein. I tell you, those Hosensteins, they can all jump. You know, look at uh, Tyler's legs. They're nice and skinny. He's got a lot of bounce in his step. Oh, come on. And Jeez. Decker scores the basket, but no good. It's going to be a charging foul. First time tonight that I thought he really forced the action. Yeah. I agree, but again, another. Not so sure about that one. Zach took a nice charge here, though. Under four minutes in the half, it's 34 to 15. Feet inside, shot is up and good by Brower. Oh, a Decker out of the game. Brower becomes, oh, excuse me. Decker's still in the game, but I was just gonna say, you gotta get Brower the ball. He's got a much shorter uh, man on them there in Hasenstein. Well, Todd Decker doesn't want Calvert to beat him from the outside. That's why he's got his son on him. There you go. And uh, there isn't a whole lot of height on Lutheran after uh, Decker. There was a one and out. That's what they need to do, although they're still 17 down. Gotta start crawling. Good place. Inside feed, shot is up and in again. They found a money man inside the Eagles. Well, if I was Coach Flipsy, I'd have Brower taking nothing but four-foot shots. Nicholson's shot is no good. He gets a 10-footer, misses that also. Hosenstein with the turnaround, around and down. Right string, right yo-yo. Well, he picked on Hosenstein a little bit on the other end, Chris, but uh, he came back with a basket there. Call that time out. Oh, there you see the rolling in. Hey, look at those two guys. <laughs> a couple of bozos. Well, at least one. Hey, we like these seats up in the front row here. This yeah, is pretty this is nice. Like, uh, the Colf Center almost. And Lutheran does treat us pretty good here. Always gets us all set up. Good shot, Eric, but that's enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Bartson up on top giving you that shot. Scott Mailoff in the truck spinning the dials. Chris Wright, the color man. Mike Martin, the play-by-play -play guy. And Stu Hoffensberger will be the guest at halftime. Doesn't get any more special than that. We got the, the A team out tonight. Well, I'll tell you, you never heard Stu talk. I mean, he's got a great voice for TV and radio. Uh, turn jumper is good by Flipsy. Good spinning move. 36 to 21. And double team, they were able to tip the ball away from Decker, but uh, Christian not able to uh, come up with it. Lutheran will keep it. Yeah, a little bit better uh, entry pass there. Can't throw it at his ankles when you're uh, six seven. You gotta get that up in a position where Sam can do something with it. Nicholson hesitated. He had the opening but didn't take it. Whoa. <laughs> Becker not quite paying attention. Ball is tipped away by Tislow. Christian has it. Off the glass and in. And it's a run by 
by Christian. They've got eight of the last 10 points. Got to crawl back in, see if they can get within 10 with a minute left. And a little bit of a push that time by uh, Scheidt. Well, it's their sixth fall. Next uh, fall on Christian and uh, Lutheran will be at the line. Lutheran has seven right now. Nicholson try to take it to the hoop. Decker forcing it that time. Christian has it. They're down by 13. They've battled back here in the second quarter. Decker with good effort. And we get a foul before the shot. Foul's gonna go on Dustin Brower. Decker will be at the line shooting a pair. As I mentioned in the opening, Sam gets himself to the free throw line almost basically uh, nine free throw, 10 free throw attempts per game. And when you shoot 80% from there, it's getting it done. There's a picture of Stu. There he is. He's intent. Son-in-law, Vic Nick Verhagen coaches the JV team over here. Very nice JV team, by the way. Yeah, they had a good game. I came in, it was the end of the first quarter. It was four to four. And uh, Lutheran went on to win by, I believe it was 18, 57 to 38, 39. But uh, the scoring did pick up after that slow first quarter. Ball went on uh, Becker, his first. And missing a free throw was a uh, shite. Thirty seconds left in the first half. Lutheran on top, thirty-eight to twenty-three. Christian made a spirited run here in the second quarter. Sam looks a little winded after. Uh, They're making him work, and I'll yeah. tell you, they got a short guy, uh, Greg Scheidt, on uh, Decker, and uh, Scheidt's making him work. Under ten. Fade away. Sam's shot is no good. And long pass is out of bounds. And we're at halftime here at uh, Sheboygan Lutheran where the Crusaders lead it over their rival in the Holy War by the Shore, 38 to 23. What makes something amazing? Is it doing what people once believed impossible? Or is amazing something you become? We believe in doing the amazing, in dominating air, space, and cyberspace, inventing technologies, in doing the unimaginable. But our most amazing accomplishment isn't what we've done, it's who we've become. Global warming is a problem. Problem. It's a problem. I wanted to do something to become more energy efficient. To protect the environment. To protect the future. So I turned to Energy Star for help. Energy Star is helping me be part of the solution. Everyone can join the fight against global warming. Go to energystar.gov to learn what you can do. Together. Together. Together, we can all make a difference. You work for the feds, right? 
Can I find a slightly used hatchback at one of those government auctions? Something roomy but practical. With a sunroof? With a sunroof. You know. USA.gov is your official source for government info. From student loans to government auctions, USA.gov. It's government made easy. We're at halftime here at the Sheboygan Lutheran area. You see the Crusaders lead at 38 to 23. Joining me at halftime is a partner working seven years for a TV8 back then, Chris uh, uh, Stu Hoffensberger. Stu, thanks a lot for coming over. You almost over, forgot so. my name has been so long. <laughs> it has been a while. What are you doing these days, by the way? Well, I'm, working, too working, I'm working too hard, Marty, is what I'm doing these days. You uh, look I'm, like it. I'm a vice president of advertising for uh, Charter Communications. I know you're working too hard because you didn't have time to shave this morning. That's right. <laughs> I get too close a shot there. So you're working in Madison. Now, you used to work in Sheboygan for Charter. You're still working for well, Charter, I'm, st obviously. I'm still in the area, still working for Charter, but I do uh, office out of Madison, so I spend a two or three days in the state capitol, and, uh, and then I get back to reality. I live in Plymouth, and uh, I have an office in Sheboygan, fortunately, that I can work out of a couple days a week. Uh, that's got to be really nice. Now, uh, you mentioned you're a vice president at Charter. What exactly is your job entail? Because you also mentioned you do some traveling. Well, we, uh, we sell advertising to local businesses. So when you see 30-second commercials that run on one of probably 40 cable networks, um, those local businesses, somebody from Charter sold them the ad. I'm responsible for a three-state area, so we have 17 sales teams and around 250 people that work. So you're a supervisor. Uh, at times. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's, you made your mark in, in announcing, and uh, I, you know, I was watching one of the games we did together, and uh, it was really amazing how good you are at it. Uh, you, do you get involved in any of that yet? You know, I wish I had more time to do it. I always enjoyed doing the games with you. Uh, you I did? Thought, I thought it was, well, <laughs> I did, and, and I thought it was a way to give back, you know. I was fortunate to play. I know you played at North. I was fortunate to play at North. And uh, I, I know uh, I really appreciate what you've done over the years because I know that's how you view it. You're giving back a little bit to the community. It, boy, we would have loved to have been able to go home and watch ourselves <laughs> play. Um, and I know uh, in some of the other communities, they don't have a play-by-play -play in color. And I think that adds something to the game. So I really commend you for sticking with it as long as you have. Yeah. I'd be back there with you if I, if I had the time to do it. 17 years, but it uh, doesn't seem like that. It's uh, an awful lot of fun, and I think that's part of the reason why I keep doing yeah. it, because I do enjoy it. And uh, never, I, to be real truthful with you, I never thought about it so much in terms of giving back, but I think in a way that that's really true. Yeah. Uh, are there any opportunities on the horizon for you to get back into it? Well, you know, I'll give you my phone number after the game, and, <laughs> uh, you know, we'll see. I know uh, in Plymouth I was fortunate enough to marry a great lady in June this year after... Uh, being a single guy for about a quarter of a century. So, uh, uh, and I'm residing in Plymouth and I, I get to a lot of the Plymouth games and I know that a couple of people there have been bugging me to maybe fill in for a game or two. So who knows, maybe, there, maybe there'll be a chance to do that Congratulations yet. Congratulations on the marriage bit, Thank by you. the way. It's uh, pretty exciting. I feel very fortunate. Now tell us a little bit about the wedding because that was a little <laughs> unique in itself. Well, it was, a, it was a perfect day. I don't know that everybody, everybody I think feels they have a perfect day we really had one um, I met my wife at uh, Whistling Straits getting ready for the 2004 PGA Championship oh so a while back so we decided to get married at Whistling Straits and uh, we just had an outstanding summer day and everything went great and uh, six months plus now <laughs> and uh, and running still working out huh? that's, that's right <laughs> well that's great uh, Stu um, in the announcing business, you know, I know you did a lot of different things. You know, we did basketball, we did some baseball. Uh, I know you did hockey for yep. UW. Uh, when you look back in all your announcing experiences, what stands out for you? Anything, any special game, any special play? 
Any special partner? Well, there's probably there's probably two. One is on the college level. Uh, the year that Michigan won the national championship with Steve Fisher taking over it in the middle of the year. The last team that uh, beat Michigan uh, were the Badgers at the Fieldhouse. And we were fortunate enough to do that game, and they actually won it um, in really exciting fashion. A kid named uh, Locum, Tim Locum, oh, I remember that made name. free throws to clinch it, and they stormed the court. And there was some controversy on a replay, and so the announcers got involved a little <laughs> bit with showing the replay. So that was real memorable, and the Michigan went on from there to win the national title. And then one of the first North-South games that we did, and it, uh, many of those games went right down to the wire, which was great. And I remember North winning a game where they had two seconds to go and just found a kid underneath. I think it was Stauber, one of the Stauber kids, uh, to, to pull out a game at North-South, and that one just sort of sticks with me. But uh, now, I know you've seen some of the North-South games in uh, the field houses since, since they moved, and uh, I asked Desso this. I said, yeah, field house, armory. What is it for you? Armory. Sorry to see that it moved. Um, I think there was just so many things there that, uh, but it all comes back to tradition. And, you know, I'm sure 20 years from now, they'll have the traditions in the field house. But right now, it's still all those memorable times at the armory. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I'm there 100%. And a neutral court on top yeah. of it. We're going to step out. Thanks a lot, Stu. I really appreciate coming over. It's great right. talking hey, to you. It's good when seeing we come you, back, Marty. we'll start the second half. Today, people seem to care a lot more about how good they look than how well they see. And that's a big mistake, because an eye doctor can see things you can't, like the first signs of glaucoma, diabetes, and high blood pressure. For men and women over 40, it might be wise to look into your eyes. Visit CheckYearly.com, a message from the Vision Council of America and AARP. Lutheran High School getting ready to start second half action. Some leading scores for uh, the Crusaders. They were led by Zach Nicholson, who had 13 points, Sam Decker had 12, and Dane Poth chipped in with uh, seven, seeing limited action as he had some foul trouble. Zach Flipsy, Zach Flipsy led the Eagles with 10 points, and Dustin Brower had uh, eight points. Four of those coming, six of those coming in the second quarter four of them late as uh, we established some post presence late in the quarter. Well, Christian shot 50%, but uh, just not enough uh, attempts. They only had 17, they had 12 turnovers. More turnovers than baskets, you're not gonna win a lot of basketball games, and uh, they got better at the end, but uh, they need more of that. Well, Brower got, they got it inside to uh, Dustin, but uh, he's not able to make the shot. Decker kicks it out to Nickerson, Nichols, Nickerson, and his shot is off. First miss. Yeah, well, I got it. He had one other miss late in the second quarter. Zach Nicholson did, but uh, for as many points as he has, <laughs> they don't seem to be guarding him very well. He's getting a lot of open looks. Thirty-eight twenty-three, and almost yes, it is a turnover. Bad pass, and Wissy was not able to save it. Lutheran quick up the floor. Decker leaning in, scores, and he's fouled. Decker, 
One thing that uh, Lutheran has done at the beginning of the game and the beginning of the second quarter is they had eight point runs to start each and uh, that's what's really built up their lead. And now they start the second half with a three point play by uh, Decker, he has 15. Shot is up and good by Brower. Both left wide open, so he guns it up there but can't get it in. Rebound putback is good by Redeker. Shot is no good. Hasenstein got away with a walk. Decker lost it. Flipsy. Hard to the hoop, no good. And we're gonna get a basket on a goal 10 by uh, Sam Decker. Whew. A lot going on there, Chris. Foul goes on uh, Sam, uh, pardon me, on Nicholson. His first. Flipsy finishes off the three point play. It's 43 28. Decker out of the ball game. And uh, Lutheran looking for, for some uh, offensive punch from the kids that are out there. Outside shot by Wheeler is no good. Calvert comes away with the rebound. 540 left in the third quarter. Inside feed. Shot is no good by Brower, but he was fouled by Redeker. That's uh, the second foul on Nick Redeker. Christian hanging around. Yeah, they're not, they play hard. Coach Flipsy's got that defense working as much as he can and Gets the most of what he has, I'll tell you that. One thing, if they could clean up the turnovers, they'd be uh, yeah. doing a whole lot better. Forty-three twenty-nine. Nicholson, bango. Another three-pointer for that young man. Five threes for him. Actually, it's four, Chris. That's where I was off on my scoring. There was his first basket in the uh, second quarter in the corner here was only a two. I thought it was a three. You thought it was a three. And uh, the guys at the table thought it was a three, too, but the officials signaled it's only a two-point basket. Brower with another easy basket inside. He's having a nice game. Wheeler. Wow. Got it. Raining threes here tonight. They got eight threes. No, make it seven threes. Good hustle by Poth. Wheeler takes it in. No call. Knocked a Crusader, uh, pardon me, an Eagle player down. That was Zach Flipsy. Action is hot and heavy. Right now, Lutheran's having the better of it. They got their lead up to 18 points, but uh, Christian always seems to have a run in them to uh, make it close. Flipsy handling the ball quite well. A little double team help by Wheeler to keep him from going inside to Brower. Flipsy spots the opening, takes it to the hoop. And a runner goes down. 
And a turnover by the Crusaders. Tislow fouled by Poth, and uh, not a good play by Poth. You know, he didn't have to slap at the ball. For Poth, that's his fourth foul. This little go to the line, shooting a pair. Tislow looking to make it a pair from the line, and he does. That makes it 49 to 35. And again, uh, the Eagles crawling back in. They had it, I believe, down to 10 at one point, but uh, they were never able, never able to break the uh, double-digit lead by Lutheran. Decker is going to get called for the uh, charge. And that's his second. 334 remaining in the third quarter. Lutheran in a zone. I don't think so. Decker with a block. Decker with a rebound. Decker with a dribble. Decker going hard to the basket and scores. And he's fouled. Showing his strength there. That was the Sam Decker show. Look at how he drives and just hard to the basket. points for Decker, it's 52 to 35, a 17 point lead now for the Crusaders. Haven't heard much from uh, Kyle Calvert, their leading scorer. Wheeler with a steal and a layup. Every time that Lutheran thinks, excuse me, Christian thinks about getting it back in it, they go back to that old turnover form. A skip pass by Flipsy. Calvert open. Nails a is. three. There he is. He had a three to start the game, and now one here. One for five. Nicholson, rainbow is no good. He's gone quiet in the second half. A good hustle play by Tyler Hosenstein, but uh, when he tipped it back into his teammate, his foot was on the line, but uh, you're going to see it. Good hustle by number 24. Yep. Good call by the official. You know, we talk about the football team out here, but the cross country teams, girls and boys, are very good. That's a cheap sport. Don't need a lot of equipment. Nope. Calvert shot is no good. Well, Decker, uh, not a good job of handling the ball there. And Brett Flipsy wants a foul, but he's not going to get one. <laughs> Another basket by Brower. He's having a night. You see Mike Theopold there. Long time assistant here. Nick Verhagen next to him. Clock rolling to 130 in the third. Shot is good by Wheeler. 
getting close to his nine point average. Oh, 56 he's, to 40. He's over. Scoring has been hot and heavy. I haven't had much of a chance to look and see what the scoring situation is like. Zach Flipsy with a three. He's having a very nice game as well for Christian. Christian came in just averaging 46 points a game. They're almost at that right now. Decker, lean in is no good. But the Crusaders come away with the ball. 45 seconds and counting in the third quarter. It's 56 to 43. And again, Christian hanging around. Now Lutheran content to run the last minute off. We have a uh, box and one, it looks like. Clock rolling down to uh, the 22nd mark in the third quarter. Wheeler drives and dishes. Picking up the loose ball was Nimmer who puts it up and in. Under 10 seconds. Flipsy glides down the lane but can't get it in. From half court, Decker's shot is off the backboard, no good. And we're at the end of three, Lutheran on top, 58 to 43. The dream of education beyond high school, the cost can put it out of reach. There is help. We are federal student aid part of the U.S. Department of Education. Each year we award $80 billion to all eligible students and families. Learn more at federalstudentaid.ed.gov. Don't get left behind. The most costly education is the one not begun. Federal Student Aid. Start here. Go further. These days, kids are logged on or plugged in almost 24-7. Parents need to start early to help kids make good technology choices. But where do you start? Visit tunedinfamily.com. Get the tools you need to make sure they're plugged in to the values that are important to your family. Hey Kyle. What are you doing? We need to talk about your choice of games. Tunedinfamily.com. Helpful tools you can use for the good of your family. Back at uh, Sheboygan Lutheran High School where uh, they're leading this uh, Holy War by the Shore contest. 59 to 43. And Sam Decker has 18 points, but uh, it's been a very quiet 18. Make it a quiet 20. Reverse layup is up and in. He's fixed six of 15 shooting today. Another basket by Brower. Shot is up and good by Nicholson. Nicholson has 18 points. Oh, nice fake. And a basket again by Brower. He's having a night. He's 8 of 11 from the floor. Wheeler has it on top. Christian in a, what looks like a box and one. Inside feed, uh, kick out pass to Nicholson. Why and not? he's got another three. He's wow. eating it up. 66 47. I got him eight for 11 as well. 
Oh, brother. I'll tell you, Sam's got three tough fouls tonight. Two offensive ones, and that's a little just... Ticky-tack. Yep. Third foul on uh, Decker. And uh, one and one. Alex. Looks like Alex Tislow will go to the line. Maybe not. Let's make it Brower. Alex was hanging around the line hoping they'd choose him. <laughs> Smart kid. Choose me, choose me. Well, a little flat on that second one by uh, Dustin Brower. Dustin's had a nice night though. I'd count up his points, Chris, but it would take too long. Five forty, it's sixty six forty eight. Nicholson fouled on the way to the basket. Just a third team foul on Christian. Lutheran averaging 70 points a game, so they're getting pretty close to their average as well. Just a little second foul. Ooh. That official was lined up just perfectly with my sight line. That's why I didn't see anything. Of course, sometimes when I can have a clear view, I don't see it anyway. 14th turnover on Lutheran. Jump shot is off by Wissy, and Brower is going to get called for the foul. That's a rare offensive rebound, let me tell you. I, that's oof. that might be the that's the only one I got. A whole night without an offensive rebound? Could I? I may have missed one, but good job for Lutheran if that's the case. Both back in the ball game. He's uh, been on the bench for a while with four fouls. He had a good first quarter, Marty. Yeah, I thought he played pretty good offensively, but uh, one of his, uh, actually he picked up two fouls in that first quarter. Uh, so defensively he made some mistakes, but uh, overall, not a bad night. Not a bad night for the whole team. Christian looking for an opening. Open from the top of the key was uh, Adam Hunick, and he's got a three-pointer. Thirty-second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. For Hunick, that was his first basket. Chris, he uh, made it a three-pointer at 66-51. Our next ball game, by the way, is going to be uh, on Friday, January 7th, when Pulaski comes to Sheboygan South. And then our game after that, thanks to that silly schedule in the Fox River Classic, we got Pulaski again over well, at North. That's good, because coming into tonight, Pulaski's leading the league, but uh, they got a tough road ahead playing uh, Bayport, so We'll South, know them better than North. they know themselves. And they'll know their season. I mean, they're getting no love. They're undefeated in the state of Wisconsin, and they get zero rankings. I mean, you're talking about the AP and the uh, st state with saying, you know, there's 15 teams. They're undefeated. They don't get a sniff. Oh, stolen away. Flipsy, lean in, can't get it in. Tap in is good by Wissy. There's an offensive rebound. We've seen this script before, Marty. Yes. It, we get it down to 13, mm -hmm. 12, it's, and then, boom, it's back to 19. It's happened every quarter and sometimes twice a quarter. Flipsy paying the tough defense on Decker, and then we get a blocking foul. Fall is on Zach. That's his third. It's only the fifth team fall, however. Watch for Decker getting the return pass. 
after he throws it in. Post says, forget about that. We'll let him get a rebound instead. Putback is no good. Hey, I just thought of something. You get to do an interview tonight, no matter what. Regardless. That's right. That was rebound number 11 for uh, Sam, averaging about, what was it, seven rebounds a game? Pops home a couple of free throw, gives him 22 points for the night. Excuse me, eight a game, so he's got 11 right now. Shot is blocked by Brower. Decker. <laughs> Decker with a little shove, and he got the basket in. Shoved the defender away and then popped open underneath and got the pass. And I think Brett Flipsy saw the same thing I did. And not appreciative of the lack of a call. Decker with a three point play. 71 to 53, Lutheran building it back up. And we got a fall underneath. Well, Dane's earning his fouls tonight. <laughs> it's just two people going for the ball though. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he only picked up one foul in the fourth quarter. <laughs> Fortunately, he had four before the fourth quarter. Yep. Jacob Cans coming in the ball game. Uh, thank you goes out to uh, Stu for coming in at halftime and uh, providing a little halftime entertainment. <laughs> little song and dance. <laughs> Free throw by Dustin Brower is good. Dustin is having a very good night. That's 21 points for him. You made them both, right? Yep. Decker leaning. Can't get it, but gets the rebound. Put back. He has 27. 73 to 55. Being quite a bit more active here in the fourth quarter. Nine points here in the quarter for uh, Sam Decker. Playing a tough defense over here is Nimmer. Brower's shot is no good. Decker with the board. And Tislau steals it away and lays it up and in. Nice steal by Alex. Tislau. It's like a little water bug. Full timeout, Scott, so we can take a short break. 218 left, Lutheran on top, United Church of Christ, no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here. There you see Carol Decker in the middle there, and good crowd. Very good crowd. Yes, it's the uh, Christian uh, Lutheran game, but uh, when you win, they fill it up. It hasn't been like this the last few years when we he only went over to Christian and they had some very nice teams. 
Ball is tipped away from uh, Nicholson. Lutheran will keep the ball. 2.15 remaining in the ball game. Crusaders up by 16. Wheeler's had a nice night. He has 10 points. Nicholson has 21. Decker has 27. Oh, a little pass up and good. Nimmer. Oh, that was sweet. Yeah, we're back to 18. Did you wish you were 18 again? <laughs> A good hustle on defense. And ball is thrown off of uh, Decker, who's out of bounds. And good sportsmanship thrown, shown by the boys, helping each other up. Wheeler coming underneath for the steal, but uh, got a little piece of that uh, Eagle player. And uh, Zach Flipsy will go to the line. This is going to be Zach's 20th point if he gets it in. Had 10 in the first half and uh, 10 this half. Wheeler with a dipsy doodle didn't go in, but uh, Redeker put it up and in. And he liked that. He certainly did. Redeker's had a nice game. Tislow down the lane. Has to get it out of there in amongst the tall timbers. And Decker with the steal. Too easy. Under a minute. Lutheran's going to come away with a hard-earned win. Crusaders played very hard, Chris, and uh, always had some runs, but uh, were never able to get over the hump. No, oh, and uh, Sam got his due. He is 9 of 19 shooting, 13 uh, rebounds. Close to his average, but nine three-pointers. I have uh, for Lutheran and just one for Sam Decker. So that's a nice. He didn't do a lot of shooting from outside. Nope. I had him. Uh... Just one of six from three tonight. Well, he did take that many. I didn't even think he took that many. Three in the first, three in the second. Halves, right? No, quarters. Ooh. He didn't shoot any in the second. So you're right on there. Seventy nine fifty nine. This is the biggest lead uh, Lutheran has had all night. It's a twenty point advantage. Under a minute. Trying to take it uh, down the uh, baseline was uh, Devin DeMaster, but uh, almost threw it away in a foul committed by the Crusaders. Goes on Becker. So both coaches have 201 wins. That's pretty nice for the small schools here in town. I believe that uh, Todd has one year up on uh, Brett. He's got, this is his 14th year at Lutheran. Brett's been at Christian for uh, 13. Twenty-four points now for Dustin Brower. Under thirty seconds left. This will get a couple of the uh, Crusaders 
and interview them after the game. Kind of nice of you to get Todd to come over. Under 10 seconds. Matt Gum in the ball game. As is Brian Dalkey. And uh, that's the ball game. No foul call. And that's the final. 79 to 61. Lutheran over Christian. Why is it you two have so much trouble communicating? I don't like the way he talks to me. All I said was that you had a big osteo fight. <laughs> well, what about the secrets you kept from me? Oh, so I didn't tell you about my drug allergies. Big that deal. That could have been nasty. How's your shoulder coming, anyway? Fine. I worked up to three pound dumbbells yesterday. Oh. Just three weeks after surgery, that's pretty good. Communication is the best medicine. A message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Global warming. Some say irreversible consequences are 30 years away. 30 years? That won't affect me. You know, like for a car? Well, what about renewing my driver's license? Don't bring your government questions to just anyone. Go to firstgov.gov, the official source of federal, state, and local government information. And don't everybody chime in at once. I joined the National Guard and never thought I'd be saving lives. It's more than money for college. It's built my character and given me a sense of accomplishment. Now I'm on a career path and I'm the leader of my team. I put on the uniform and I have a whole new outlook on life. Country, community, family. That's what matters most to me. If that matters to you, go to 1-800-GO-GUARD.COM. How far would you go? to protect the planet. I want you to build an ark. Here we go. Okay, that's good. Oh, okay. Ow. Oh. Oh. Maybe there's another way. People, the flood is imminent. Is it too much to ask for a little precipitation? Go to fightglobalwarming.com to find out what you and your community can do to reduce global warming pollution. Back here with Sam and Zach. Zach, uh, one of the nights tonight, you got Christian coming in here. Last two years, you've kind of had your number, but tonight you kind of got them tonight. Yeah, it was a good win for us. We haven't beat them in a while, but we all came ready to play tonight and hit some shots. Now, I know, as looking at your roster, you're very senior dominated. It's got to be neat to be with your classmates going up the ladder and then having the success like you are this year. Yeah, it is. We've been playing together for a while, and we all get along really well, and we work together on the court. I noticed you guys, one thing I know Coach Decker's always done is he's really worked hard on defense, and it didn't matter, you know, over the last few years when you haven't had as many wins, but one thing's common here, you guys play good D, and you guys did a nice job today. I, I, I don't think that uh, Christian had an offensive rebound to the fourth quarter, and you guys did a nice job on D. Yeah, we like to switch it around, use zone and man, and it really worked tonight. Just getting rebounds and getting stops. Well, you guys are off to a good start so far. You got a long way to go, but got to like how you guys have been playing. Yeah, we're doing well. We just got to stay humble and go after every game hard. 
Well, you can enjoy you when you don't have to be humble all the time. Being Christian's got to be nice. Congratulations, you can stay here. Sam, you guys started off the year this year. You had to go up to Green Bay. You played a real tough game. You kind of set the tone for the year so far. Yeah. Getting a win there, and it's been like that all season. Yeah, uh, we're just trying to come out and dictate what we do, uh, not let teams throw what they have. So we're trying to push push uh, the pressure on them and really get them full court and push up the ball and uh, get us running. Yeah, not only that, I thought offensively, one thing I really was impressed with, especially early on, was the ball movement. You really move the ball around the outside, creating open shots for Zach and Dane and, and of course, obviously yourself. But, yeah. boy, that really helps up on offense. Yeah, uh, since we have so many uh, good shooters out here, I can – use my penetrating ability and have the confidence that these guys will knock down shots. They've done it uh, through the first 10 games of this season, and I have no doubt it will continue through the, out the season. When you're done, you can have a career that I have, because my next question is going to be just that. One of the things I know is a lot of, you know, drive and dish, and you guys banged down nine threes. You only had one of them, so a lot of contributions from a lot of the guys. Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, I'm a, I think every game we've had two guys in double figures, so that's always a great thing to get uh, – balance scoring and have threats from all angles so teams don't have to worry just about one or two guys they have to worry about the whole team so uh, that's always a great thing to have with multiple scores yeah it is now looking on your schedule you got Ozaki coming up and Usberg coming up you got the t the uh, two tough ones coming up but you got to like how you started and how do you look forward to the next couple weeks uh, well right now we're playing with confidence playing well we only had our one loss down in Milwaukee the other day uh, so we know that we can play with everyone and teams are going to have to pre prepare for us. So uh, just when we play Ozaki and Usberg, we got to do the same thing, prepare for them tough. And there will be battles, but we got to find a way to get a win there. Not only that, but like I said to him, it's got to be a great start being 8-1 and one and things like yeah. that. Just what you wanted. Yeah, it's great. Since we, I mean, last year we had an up year, but uh, we hadn't had success the past few years. So we thank God for that. Uh, the perseverance that we could come through and get uh, some wins to start the season. Nine and one's a great record. Uh, hopefully we can keep it rolling. One final question for you. At the beginning of the game, your dad got honored for his 200th win. You and Johnny got to see a lot of those wins when you were little. I remember when you were really tiny coming to these games, but it's got to be a big thrill for you to be playing with your dad and, you know, yeah. Johnny, of course. Yeah, uh, watching John and my dad get a bond through basketball is what I, what I, uh, I was starting and wanted to play at Lutheran on this court in front of the great fans. So, yeah, and my dad and I have a great relationship on and off the court. So uh, he gets on me, but it's all because he wants to be, me to be successful in the whole team. So, um, yeah, every, and then with our whole, whole team, it's almost like a family type thing. So we're always together and always sticking through each other. So, Well, that is true. I do remember when he was about this tall. So <laughs> it is true he was at that time. With that, we'll send it back to Marty. Sheboygan Christian was led by Dustin Brower with 24 points. Uh, Zach Flipsey, uh, Brett's son, chipped in with 20. Lutheran was led by Sam Decker. You saw him in the interview there with 27. And his uh, running teammate, Zach Nicholson, the other person being interviewed, had 21. And Jacob Wheeler chipped in with 10. So good contributions tonight for uh, Lutheran as they win it 79-61. to our next game on WSCS-TV will be uh, Friday, January 7th, when Pulaski visits Sheboygan South, so you can look for that ball game. For the crew, Scott Mayloff spinning the dials in the truck, Eric Wiesman and Richard Bartson running the uh, cameras. For my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin, saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road. Thank you.